Hello everybody and welcome to Cinema Savvy, it is myself George and today I bring you a brand new movie review. This is of course the new Nicolas Cage film, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Um, I want to say one of the longest film titles of the year, but um, there's a very, very big film coming out next month I'm looking forward to, the one about multiverses, but not Doctor Strange. And if you know film, you'll know exactly what film that is I'm talking about, which has another very long name that's very easy to get mixed up. That's quite May the 13th, and obviously I'm here to talk, as I said, about The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent coming out tomorrow in UK cinemas and American cinemas, April 22nd. And this is a film I had an absolute pleasure to see. Um, this is a film that I've been looking forward to seeing, I think, as well, worth adding as well. Obviously, a lot of this is going to depend on your history of Nick Cage. You'll be looking forward to seeing this film. Before I really get into that, I just want to jump straight to the comment section. Please do comment your thoughts on the unbearable weight of massive talent, everything you loved about it, things you enjoy about it, and as well as that, comment some of your favourite Nicolas Cage films. Uh, they could be the ones that aren't maybe the best, or maybe they are the best ones, and everything in between, not just your favourite films, your favourite performances from him, or even some of your, your favourite stories. I'm sure some of you may have heard about the stuff he's purchased in the past, uh, some incredible spending sprees, so just get a Nicolas Cage to chat going in the comments, honestly. I'll be there, I'll take a look at all of those, as I always do. And if you are new to the channel, please do follow us on our social medias, that is Facebook, Cinema Savvy, Twitter, at Cinema underscore Savvy, and Letterboxd.com, slash Cinema Savvy. We've got a link to all those in the description, and of course, hit that subscribe button, there's a lot more films on the way, there's always new reviews, older reviews, discussions, and a lot of other things happening, so please do have a check of all of that when you can. As I said, I'm here to talk about the unbearable weight of massive talent, and it's best off kickstarting this really with a conversation about Nicolas Cage. So, for those unfamiliar with the story, this is a fictional film where Nicolas Cage plays himself, and it is about him taking on himself being finished as an actor and taking a one million pound, uh, sorry, one million dollar payout to go to a billionaire's birthday party. Uh, Javi, played by Pedro Pascal, aka the Mandalorian, and soon Joel from The Last of Us, which is also on the hype list. Um, that being said though, uh, this film really, I'm, I'm not going to go into obviously spoilers, the film's not out yet, if you have seen it obviously just do, do comment some stuff, but if you've seen the trailer you should know what to expect, this is a buddy comedy, this is a film that is so self aware, it's incredible, but you know what really hit me, this is a film that's actually fantastic, I thought this could be one of those films that's kind of funny, you'll get one or two laughs, oh look, wink wink nudge nudge, here's this thing from that Nicolas Cage film and oh here's this to that, or here's a style reference of Pedro Pascal which we didn't get, which I'm really glad we didn't get if I'm being honest. And we didn't get that, instead we got an actual fantastic film, we got a, uh, like a buddy, it's almost like a, a, a buddy comedy, I'm, I've been trying to think of films similar to this, there's nothing like it, obviously with the person playing the fictional version themselves, a lot of people always speak about being John Malkovich, that's a film I've never seen, so I can't really comment on that. I am purely here for Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal. I think a lot of people are going there for those two. And if that is the main reason you want to check out this film, then please do go to the cinema and see it because you are not going to be disappointed. The chemistry they have is undeniable. Um, you honestly would want to just hang out with them for hours. The film, you don't want the film to stop. You honestly want it to carry on. You want more of them. You want deleted scenes. Pedro Pascal's put deleted scenes on Instagram. There's so much going on and there's so much fun to be had as a cinema goer, as, as a fan of the actors and, and you know, a fan of their previous work, obviously mainly Nicolas Cage for this, is honestly a film I've not seen anything like before and quite frankly I'm really excited that I was able to see this. Obviously Cineworld showed this early on Monday, so a lot of people have seen that. Uh, obviously I'm trying to time this a little bit differently, so as I said it is coming out tomorrow at cinemas. I might actually go and see this again this weekend just because of how much fun I had at the cinema seeing it. Um, and that's sort of one of the, the biggest positives you can have for the film, is the fact it's enjoyable and it's a cinema experience. You you don't need to have seen every single Nick Cage film to, I think, to understand this film. Obviously, it will help with a lot of jokes, a lot of the references, uh, a lot of certain moments. But if you don't know anything about him, you could go in and watch this and have an absolutely fantastic time still. And if you're a fan, it's just a bonus from that point onwards. And, and that's why I was sort of saying I was taken away by this, is that I didn't expect it to be as good a film this really is. And I think that's a, a massive understatement to maybe the, not the marketing, because I don't think the marketing has been the best for this. This has really been powered by Nick Cage fans, uh, people in the media, people obviously in the media that are fans of Nick Cage, obviously. You know, you've seen a lot of people talking about his films recently on YouTube channels. You've got a lot of people at the screenings. Uh, Cinema did the, the, the Nicolas Cage marathon on Sunday, even though there's only at five of their cinemas. You know, there's been a lot of Nicolas Cage hype, and it's amazing to see, because I think... He's a very, un, I don't want to say underrated actor, he's an actor that he gets billed in the way that Jared Leto should be billed. They make out Nick Cage is this 
weird bloke who has all these problems who can't act and he overacts and I, I don't think that's fair on him I think he can act I think he's shown he can act but I also think he's someone that enjoys living in the moment now I've not seen Pig uh, and that is a film I've heard some amazing stuff about but the main reason I'm going to have this film see is because it's just amazing to see something so self but done in such good taste and I've really got to bring up the the director who didn't just direct this he co-wrote the film as well that is uh, Tom Gormican as well uh, he'd only done one previous film which very much surprised me you know with a film like this you think, oh, could this be, you know, somebody that's friend of Nick Cage, or could it be somebody that's done loads of films and managed to get, you know, this cast together for this? Um, it, I was honestly quite surprised. It was eight years ago his previous film as well, so that's something I was really surprised by doing research after the film, and honestly, I was, I was quite amazed by it. And the sort of the afterthought of this is what's really sort of lingered in my mind is, I want to see more of these films, and maybe it's a, a, a dangerous step or something silly to say because it doesn't really affect this review, but. I'd love to see more actors play fictional versions of themselves because I, I think what it does, certainly in this film's case, if you get it wrong, you end up in this weird parody state where you might be seeing yourself as this uh, superior that you, you think you're high and mighty or you're better than what you can do. And I think it's a very tough thing to get right. I think if, if you get, you know, if you go too far one way of yourself sort of be, being the joke, it's going to backfire from there. If you go too far to the other way, it just looks like you're making a one off weird dig. And I think this is why. It works for someone like Nick Cage, who's had this insane career. You know, he's at the highest of the highs. He's obviously won his Oscar. He's got some of the the biggest cult films of all time, uh, with stuff like Face Off, The Rock. He's worked with some of the the biggest actors of all time in that sense as well, and directors. And then obviously he's had you know those loads of director DVD films, which he spoke about in interviews recently. And he's had a really fascinating career. And you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was new to this. I didn't realize he was part of the Coppola family until recently as well. That's one of the most insane things I've ever heard. And if you didn't know that, just to have a read up on the whole family situation. I think he even spoke about passing on Lord of the Rings because he wanted to, to stay at home with his son, which is also incredible. Uh, it shows really how great he is. And, and I think that's something that works. This, this is really a film that's a celebration of Nick Cage. You know, if you do enjoy his work, then you just honestly have to put the time out to go and see it. It is well worth seeing on the big screen. It's a film that's going to, I think, just have your attention. And it's funny. And it, it's so it's really awkward to approach comedies because if, you, if they get them wrong, you know, not only are they not funny, they just look awful, but it's also really hard to approach them because everyone's going to take something away. There'll be different jokes that are better suited for some people. And there's a clip that's been released from this film today, which I'm actually quite good. It was released online in one of the funniest moments of the film. Uh, it's a reference to another film, but not a Nick Cage film. And there's just these amazing scenes. But if I'm giving you a recommendation, if, if you really want to be the core of it, you just have to see this film for Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage. You know, there's not much more to it than the fact it is a buddy cop. It is them going out there, having fun, doing these ridiculous mission on this ridiculous premise. But the premise works because the premise is Nick Cage being Nick Cage. And that is everything I'm going to honestly have to say on this film. It's really got to be seen by us. So please do support this film. Please do see it at the cinema. And, you know, there's been um, Jed Hughes on our channel before did a really good post today saying that there's, you know, people cry about the lack of original films in Hollywood, yet they'll all be watching Sonic and Fantastic Beasts. They won't be seeing The Northman and uh, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. And it's a fantastic conversation to have because, you know, I've, you've seen, if you've seen The Northman review, that was absolutely fantastic. Love the film, must be seen. And I'm going to put say the same for this. This isn't as good as The Northman, completely different film, so silly to compare, but... If you're really going to pine and sit there saying there's no good films out, there's nothing out at all, you know, oh, Doctor, oh there's been nothing since XYZ or Doctor Strange is coming soon, you've got to make the time to see films like this. And, you know, these are the films that we really should be supporting. And, hey, I enjoyed Sonic. I had a, a lot of fun with Sonic. I didn't mind Fantastic Beasts as much as well. But, you know, you if you want new films, if you want original films, you've got to support those for studios to come in and, and make more of them. And that's a whole other conversation within itself. So... Um, you know, that's just a side piece. Please do go out and see these films. There's some really good films coming out, and yes, we're entering blockbuster season. You know, we're gonna get Doctor Strange, we're gonna get some other stuff um, coming out. Obviously, you know, we had a Thor trailer. We've got a lot of Top Gun. We've got loads of other stuff happening. So there are big films coming out, but there are also original films coming out, and and they do need to be supported. And that's something we do try and do on this channel. So you know, the new reviews they will carry on as they always do. Next up will be Doctor Strange, unless something magical happens before and. You know, everything ever all at once, May the 13th, that's one I'm really looking forward to. I might even be travelling down to the Prince Charles to see it, because they're the only place with tickets on sale at the moment. I wouldn't be too concerned about seeing the world, they never want to show films like that. So, 
you know this is the place to be if you like new films then please do hit that subscribe button a lot more stuff on the way as i said and if you're a fan of older films we're doing steven spielberg retrospective at the moment so every tuesday we've got a steven spielberg review going up next week's going to be 1941 that's myself and tate doing that it might be a film we've never heard of it might be his worst film at all but the week after is indiana jones so yeah, there's a lot of good films that are going to be coming in that series, so please do subscribe to support those. And there's a very, very big announcement next week. Um, May is going to be an insane month for this channel. Um, I cannot wait to share more details. Uh, there's something big we're working on. Uh, there's a few big things coming out, as I said, in May. But there will be an announcement video next week. So join us towards the end of next week, maybe a week today, and we'll be announcing some, some big stuff happening in May, which I'm really excited to share some more details about. I'm working very hard behind the scenes and uh, hopefully it all comes to fruition. So, you know, hit that like button, hit the comment, let me know your thoughts. What do you think the announcement could be? If you haven't worked it out by now, is there something glaring? If you've been checking personal social media, that's what you have seeing what's he been watching, a lot of all that kind of stuff. So please do comment along with this. And as I support this film, see this film, see it on the big screen. So yeah, not the biggest screen possible, it's not showing IMAX, but make the effort to go to the cinema to see a film like this, honestly. You won't regret it. That is two hours of your time that you're going to have an absolute blast with. So that's going to round out for me today. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to join us on the next one. Take care.